If you didn't watch it, go watch it. But um, <laughs> I was talking about how I don't know how to cook, but everything that I do know how to cook, I learned from my husband. Um, and eggs are one of those things. So I used to cook my eggs on high and had no idea why I burnt them every time. I hated eggs because of that. But now I know you have to cook them basically on medium um, and never ever stop stirring them. If they're scrambled eggs, you literally just start stirring right from the second that you put them in the pan and see how like beautiful and fluffy they are and they're almost done but you, if you stop moving them they will burn so that's one of the things that my husband has taught me what? so very thankful for that because I can make my son some eggs Okay, so I have some wraps for my boys. This is my husband's, and that's my son's. He wanted a wrap as well, so it's just cheese and eggs. Um, I didn't make any sausage or anything like that, so that's what they get this morning. And guess who's back at it with the camper? He has it back here now, um, so let's go take him some breakfast. He got the bracket in for the washer and dryer. That's what's gonna be in there, and he's trying to get this all done. Um, 
today because we work tomorrow night. So he's going to be working on this all day today. Oh, I hear something loud. Hey. Jesus. <laughs> Damn. I knew. I knew as soon as I heard the... <laughs> yeah, I knew as soon as I heard the vacuum that you wouldn't hear me walk in. <laughs> heart attack. I brought you breakfast. Thank you very much. <laughs> you could give me an aspirin and a <laughs> nitro, please. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll let you work. I just uh, wanted to scare you shitless for a second. <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. Look at that look. You want me to wrap this back up? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You like it like that? Oh, you're just eating the cheese off of it? You need to eat the eggs, you silly goose. Mm -hmm. Nom, 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 nom. All right, I've got to go get everybody dressed and ready to go to gymnastics. We have to leave here in like 15 minutes. It's already 8.45, um, so we got to get hustling here. I also need coffee today which luckily my husband already started for me. So I'll just have to throw that together before we go.
still had to go to ice skating and everything else. So Mondays and Tuesdays are always super busy for us with kid activities. So anyway, yeah, that's some traffic, no big deal. So we're gonna go get some food and then um, I'm gonna take them somewhere probably that they'll like for a little while. So we'll catch you guys there. We have the whole place to ourselves. There's not another person here. And it's a whole showroom full of playground equipment. So it's a whole showroom where you can come and like look to see which ones you wanna buy for your backyard or whatever. But they let you pay like, it's like six bucks a kid and you get like a two hour time window and you get to come play on literally everything. So it's so, so good to have this in a place where it snows. Like during the winter, I brought them here all the time because it's so much fun for them to be able to play like they're outside but it's inside so super fun we're gonna play here for a couple hours and then head home but <laughs> do you want me to push you on that yeah okay look how many hold on one sec Cove. how many of them there are they're just everywhere <laughs> so fun ready Ooh. <laughs> I think this one's Bubby's favorite. He always pretends to be a pirate up here. <laughs> Woo -hoo! What was that? It said Yahar Mateys. Yahar Mateys? <laughs> We're going to go have fun and play, so see you guys later. guys so we just got home we were at that rainbow place for like two hours my kids are exhausted it is 4 39 p.m. so I'm going to get some chicken um, from the freezer and throw it in to thaw I'm gonna make some white chicken chili for dinner tonight all right changing plans so for dinner we're not gonna do white chicken chili because Charlie already had ribs thawing so I'm just gonna throw those in the oven get them going um, and I don't know what we'll have for a side yet, but we'll figure it out. But I'm going to get these in the oven. So let me just show you guys what we do. We use the um, St. Louis style pork spare ribs. You just want to line your pan with um, some tin foil. And the only reason I know how to make these is because I have literally been with Charlie for 13 years and... If you watched my q and A, I I talked about that. Like, I don't know how to cook. I do know how to make a couple of things, but this isn't really cooking to me. This is just like putting something on a pan and letting it bake, but, ugh, come on, get out of there. So you just take your rack of ribs, set it down on there. Wash your hands. And then we are going to Bring this to the other side. So you want to preheat the oven to 325. We're going to put on here some Italian seasoning, some onion powder, some brown sugar, salt and pepper. This is looking super good now. So you're just gonna cover this over the top with another piece of tin foil, put it in the oven, and it's probably gonna take about two to two and a half hours. And then you'll open it up um, and put 
barbecue sauce on it, whatever one you like, and then you'll kind of put the foil back on top of it, but outside of the oven, and kind of let it stay in there like in the steam and everything for probably another 15, 20 minutes. So we are out on our second workout of the day. You guys saw my yoga this morning and now I'm doing um, a walk. I would like to call it a walk run, but I'd be lying because I'm not running because it's still 90 degrees. Um, I am in some shade at the moment, so I took this opportunity to talk to y'all so I'm not being blinded. Um, yeah, so the ribs are still going on. The kids ate dinner, so we're on our walk. Um, when I get back, I think it'll be time for us to actually put the washer and dryer into the camper. So it's so exciting. Charlie like trimmed out the entire area and it looks so good. He got all the plumbing and electric done. So we're almost there guys. So I'll show you guys that whenever we do it. So see you back at the house. So these babies are all washed up. We went to the park after my walk and then we came home. They got, he got a bath, she got a shower and now they're having their ice cream dessert. They got Neapolitan ice no, cream. No, no. I told to the camera what I did. No, we don't. Why? Because you don't want anybody to know. Why? I don't know, you told me not to tell. Right? Why well, I'm gonna tell you. You're gonna tell me? So, this is the point. I peed in my pants and that's one point. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> that was an accident, right? <laughs> hey guys, so it's a little while later. It is now almost 11 p.m. I got my kids to bed. I went out and checked on the progress of the camper and I will show you guys that in tomorrow's video um, because he had to remove a part of the wall in order to get the, the washer and dryer in. So he wants it to like look better before I take you guys in there to see that. So um, we just ate really quick because I know it's super late but we didn't get a chance to earlier. So we had some of the ribs and sweet potato fries and um, so now I am going to clean up super fast in here and then um, I'm gonna call it a day, I think. I am planning to film the Target haul still and also I still need to like scrub out the bathroom so I'll probably do like a video of um, like a clean with me. I think that'll be fun. So, but I think I'm gonna call it a night for tonight with this vlog. So that'll be the end of this one. Um, tomorrow is, yeah, tomorrow is July 13th. It's a Wednesday. We work Wednesday and Thursday and they're off for six days after that, which is awesome because Sunday is Kova's fifth birthday. So we're, we have some plans for that. We're excited. So um, that's why he's like hustling so hard to get this camper done because he doesn't want to have to spend that time fixing the camper because beyond that week, we literally have two weeks left and then we're leaving Sioux Falls. So everything has to be done and wrapped up. So um, we're getting there slowly but surely. He's like busting butt out there trying to get it all done. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and um, we will see you tomorrow. Good night.